Hey kindergarten friends, Miss Ingram here. Today I want us to do some subitizing up to five. This is something that we did in the classroom every single day and I hope that you're practicing at home to subitize. First, let's review what does it mean to subitize? Oh my goodness, Miss Ingram, what does that mean? You're right. You don't count. Subitizing means that you are able to see a set and know exactly how many without counting. You use your noggin. So we're going to go through some slides here and you're going to subitize. Are you ready? Put that thinking cap on. You have those eyes looking on the screen and Miss Ingram is ready to subitize. It's loading. We're almost there. Here we go. Okay. Two, good job. You saw one and one. Three, what did you see? What two parts? One and two. Great job, kiss your smart brains. Oh, let me flash it again. Five. Very good. Three and two. Re remember, think of your number binds, your part, part, whole. Three and two make five. One. Very good. This time, what did they put the set on? A five frame. Very good. What was that? Zero. Great job. Five. Awesome possum. Four at the top, one at the bottom. Four. Good job. Five. There are those two parts of five again. Three and two. Four. Very good. What are the parts here? Three and one. Four, very good. Five, if you think about it, you can use your knowledge of counting on. You have four and one more, four, five, good. Four, they used those five frames again, very good. Three, one, four, two, Ooh, that one looked crazy. Let's look at that one once more. Five, good. Three on the bottom, two at the top. Miss Ingram saw a letter Y. Did you see a Y? I bet you did see a Y. It is number five though, five, good. Two, five. Guys, you should be awesome at the this part of five, these parts of five, two and three. Always know that two and three make five. Two, three, three, two. Oh, let me show that one once more. Five, very good. Two. Five, you should have been able to count on there. Four, five. Four, three, five. I know you're getting good. Five, good. If you know how many spots are on a five frame, that one should have been quick, quick, chick. Five spots on a five frame. That bottom one is full, so it's five. What if I ask you the parts here? What would you say? Five and zero. Three. Five. Four. Three. Four. Three. 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 
five. Let's look at that. That one was a little bit tricky. They have four on the bottom and how many up top? One. Miss Ingram's eyes were looking and I see that one at the top and I moved it down to fill up that other five frame. I used my eyes and my eyes moved it down to fill up that other five frame. So I know or I knew immediately there's five, five, three, three, five, five, Ooh. zero, <laughs> five, two, two, four, two, two. Four, three, five, three, four, five, four. How are you doing? Are you supertizing? You better not be counting. Oh, five. Good. That five frame at the top is full. Four. Five, four, four, three, four, two, <laughs> four. I see a Y again. <laughs> four, 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 two. All right, guys, great job supervising with me. Kiss your smart, smart brains. Give yourself a lip scream. All right, I hope you have a great day. Make sure that you are writing your numbers this week and you are practicing subitizing every day to make those brains even smarter. All right, kindergarten friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.